Let's jump some code, shall we? All right. So what I'm going to do today is set two strands of code. This Red first one. Sample sounds. Numbers in French. So it works as a screen reader. So students that are blind or visually impaired are able to access it. It's fully accessible. Code so jumper. I'm going to Ex set Red one. this thread. Explosion. So the first thing that we're going to do is use this pod. It's called a pause pod. I'm going to plug it into thread one and set my duration of my pause for two beats. It goes anywhere from a quarter beat, a quarter beat to two, two beats. beats. There's audio feedback so students So can just hear. to be clear, I'm twisting this. One, a and quarter, I can, it's very responsive. A two, a two, and I'm using I'm just a Chromebook beats. here. Or, uh, no, it's a Windows a, tablet. A Windows tablet, okay. Uh, or two, two beats. So it's developed by Microsoft. Beats. Oh, yes. Okay. Just designed by Microsoft. Okay. Just developed by APH. Got it. Um, well said. So then we plug the next pod in. This is the play pod. Oh, okay. It allows you to choose a sound out of your sound set. So it allows you to make your selection. Two, so it's going to count one, right here. Two. And you can change three, the. Four. You can change your speed or three. pitch. So we're going to set that one to three, and these are going to go to two and one. All right, that's the end of that chain of code. Simultaneously, out of the second thread, another set will be playing. So where this pause pod is, there will be silence, and this play pod will play. So it's kind of teaching sequencing. So here, we're going to have it say, oh no. Oh no! Perfect. And then what I'm going to do next is, so I need four beats of silence. This pod only goes up to two beats, so what I could do is use two of these pods at two beats each. But instead, I'm going to use this loop pod. Whatever the loop pod is plugged into allows that, you know, the function of the pod to repeat as many times as you loop it. So when I plug this in here, I will set this one, two, to loop two times. A quarter beat, two beats. Two beats. And then when I plug it in here, getting fancy. I'm gonna do an explosion sound. It's already set. So I'm gonna set the speaker closer to you so you can pick up the audio on that. Okay. And if you're ready, I'm gonna plus. I'll, I'll kind of point out what's happening, like what pods are playing. Sounds good. Oh no! Three, two, one. And so what allowed for these pods to take place was the silence here that's been looped, you know. So you could set this, for example, you can set this for one beat of silence. Beat. Two, one beat. And you can set the loop for four. So there are other ways. Six, five, All in real time. Four. Oh, no. With the same effect. Three, two, one. So it teaches children that they can get multiple, they can get the same outcome through multiple routes and they can find the most efficient or creative route. Um, and like I said, it teaches computational thinking and debugging skills. One of my, one, something that kids like the most is that if you plug in a sequence wrong, so say I plug this in, but I don't connect my, I don't close my loop here, and I press play, it makes a burp. Find by Microsoft. Um, there was an engineer whose son was blind. Uh, she's a son who's blind, and he was not getting the same access to coding education as the sighted peers. I see. And so she wanted to make sure that he had access to that because she understood the value of coding education. And so she began the design of this product, and then they passed it off to us. We're the American Printing House for the Blind, oh, and we've okay. been making educational materials and products for students that are blind or visually impaired for 162 oh, so years. You're so with we were the. the team to go to for development. So Got we developed it. this product, including the curriculum and doing a lot of testing on it, and we are the ones working with the manufacturing and we'll be distributing it in the U.S. Um, and we're bringing it to market in the next month or two. You know, everything I can feel, I, if I close my eyes, I could tell that these things are different. You can see how you need. line them all up. And so this is the selection pod. This pod, I've shown you these three already. This one does if-then statements. So you can set a constant. This is called a variable key. You can set your constant and you can change your variables. And so if you, if, you know, for example, if I say, you know, if two is greater than four, this will play. And if not, yeah. this will play. And you close that loop off with these two pods. So you can kind of create the cause and effect. You no, know, this thinking. could really work well for uh, any child. It really could. And that's the idea is that it's a very inclusive product. That, um, and responsive. So yeah. let's talk nuts and bolts here. Uh, when does it come out and what? how much will it cost? And It will come out in the next month or two. We're really close. We're just going through our final quality checks and we've got all of our units um, 
over from the manufacturing plant. Um, it will cost $999. So a thousand bucks. Yes. The intent. And that includes? That includes all of the pods you see here, including the hub and this series of variable keys and the curriculum. That is the cost. Um, the intent is that they are for the classroom or for group work. So summer camps, coding camps, things like that. Uh, the idea is that it's not just one kit per student, but it is collaborative work. So one child can play with this, four children can play with this. Um, on the video over here, we have a little boy named Josh, who is familiar with the product, showing his friend, Addie, who has never played with it before. They're both visually impaired. He's showing her how it works, and they're building codes together. Awesome. I'm glad I stumbled upon you yeah. and um, appreciate the, the good work. We'll look forward yeah. to seeing this. And you can learn more and sign up for our informational waiting list here at GoJumper.com. All right. We'll get this out there. All right. Thanks so much, Abigail. Bye.